Hi, it's Miss Leslie from Youth Guidance Mentoring Academy, and today we are reading Why Mosquitoes Buzz in People's Ears by Verna Ardema. We should look that up. This is actually a folk tale from West Africa. So let's get into it. I really liking this art style. I wonder how they how they drew it. Pictures by Leo and Diane Dillon. It looks really cool. Why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears. Ooh, look at that. One morning, a mosquito saw an iguana drinking at a water hole. The mosquito said, Iguana, you will never believe what I saw yesterday. Try me, said the iguana. The mosquito said, I saw a farmer digging yams that were almost as big as I am. What's a mosquito compared to a yam? Snapped the iguana grumpily. I would rather be deaf than listen to such nonsense. Then he struck two sticks in his ears and went off, meck, 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 through the reeds. He stuck, oh, he stuck those in his ears so he couldn't hear the, he couldn't hear the mosquito talking to him. Look at that snake. Ooh. The iguana was still grumbling to himself when he happened to pass by a python. The big snake raised his head and said, good morning, iguana. The iguana did not answer and lumbered on, bobbing his head, badminton, badminton. Now, won't, now why won't he speak to me, said the python to himself. Iguana must be angry about something. I'm afraid he is plotting some mischief against me. He began looking for somewhere to hide. The first likely place he found was a rabbit hole, and in it, he, and in it, he went. Wazoo, 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 wazoo. When the rabbit saw the big snake coming into her burrow, she was terrified. She scurried out through her way back and bounced kirk, 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 through across the clearing. So the rabbit's scared of the snake and it's jumping away. I saw the rabbit running for her life. He flew, oh, that's not what it said. A crow saw the rabbit running for her life. He flew into the forest crying, caw, caw, caw. It was, it was his duty to spread alarm in case of danger. A monkey heard the crow. He saw, he was sure that some dangerous beast was prowling near. He began screeching. What is going on with all these animals? He was screeching and leaping through the trees to help warn the other animals. As the monkey was crashing through the tree traps, he happened to land on a dead limb. It broke and fell on the owl's nest, killing one of the owlets. Oh no. Oh no, look at the poor, poor owls. Mother owl was not at home, for though she usually hunted only at night, this morning she was still out searching for one more tidbit to satisfy her hungry babies. When she returned to the nest, she found one of them dead. Her other children told her that the monkey had killed it. All that day and all that night, she sat in the tree, so sad, so sad, so sad. Now it was Mother Owl who woke the sun each day so the dawn could come. By this time, when she should have hooted for the sun, she did not do it. The night grew longer and longer. The animals of the forest knew it was lasting much too long. They feared the sun would never come back. Look at how sad the sun is now too. At last, King Lion called a meeting of the animals. They came and sat down, pim, 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 around a council fire. Mother Owl did not come, so the antelope was sent to fetch her. When she arrived, King Lion said, Mother Owl, why have you not called the sun? The night has lasted long, 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 and everyone is worried. Mother Owl said, Monkey killed one of my owlets. Because of that, I cannot bear to wake the sun. The king said to the gathered animals, Did you hear? It was Monkey who killed the owlet. And now Mother Owl won't wake the sun. So the so that the day can come. So they think Monkey did it on purpose when it was really an accident. 
And look at all the animals getting ready to yell at monkey. Then King Lion called the monkey. He came before him nervously glancing from side to side. Rem, rem, rem. Monkey, said the king. Why did you kill one of Mother Owl's babies? Oh, king, said the monkey. It was the crow's fault. He was calling and calling to warn us of danger. And I went leaping through the trees to help. A limb broke under me and it fell, ta, on the owl's nest. The king said to the council, so it was the crow who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, and now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so that the day can come. The king called for the crow. The big bird came flapping up. He said, King Lion, it was the rabbit's fault. I saw her j running for her life in the daytime. Wasn't that reason enough to spread an alarm? The king nodded his head and said to the council, so was the rabbit who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet. And now mother owl won't wake the sun so the day can come. When King Lion called the rabbit, the timid little creature stood before him, one trembling paw drawn up uncertain. Rabbit, said the king, why did you break a law of nature and go running, 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 running in the daytime? Oh, king, said the rabbit, it was the python's fault. I was in my house minding my own business when that big snake came in and chased me out. The king said to the council, so was the python, who scared the rabbit, who startled the crow, who, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet. And now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so the day can come. I really like this art style. This is a, ter this is a sad story. King Lion called the python, who came slithering, wabazoo, wabazoo, past the other animals. But King, he cried, it was the iguana's fault. He wouldn't speak to me, and I thought he was plotting some mischief against me. When I crawled into the rabbit's hole, I was only trying to hide. So the king said to the council, so it was the iguana who frightened the python, who startled the rabbit, who scared the rabbit and startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet. And now mother owl won't wake the sun so the day can come. Now the iguana was not at the meeting, for he had not heard the summons. Why didn't he hear it again? The antelope was sent to fetch him. All the animals laughed when they saw the iguana coming, bottom, 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 with the sticks still stuck in his ears. Look at him, he's still got the sticks. King, Ingu King Lion pulled out the sticks, crump, crump, then he asked, Iguana, what evil have you been plotting against the python? None, none at all, cried the python, <laughs> cried the iguana. Python is my friend. Then why wouldn't you say good morning to me, demanded the snake. I didn't hear you or even see you, said the iguana. Mosquito told me such a big lie, I couldn't bear to listen to it. So I put sticks in my ears. <laughs> laughed the king. So that's why you had sticks in your ears? Yes, said the iguana. It was the mosquito's fault. King Lion said to the council, so it was the mosquito who annoyed the iguana, who frightened the python, who scared the rabbit, who startled the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the outlet. And now Mother Owl won't wake the sun so the day can come. I think he's going to be in trouble. Punish the mosquito! Punish the mosquito! cried all the animals. When Mother Owl heard that, she was satisfied. She turned her head toward the east and hooted, hoo, 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 and the sun came up. Meanwhile, the mosquito had listened to all of it from a nearby bush. She kept under a curly leaf and was never found and brought before the council. But because of the mosquito, oh, but because of this, the mosquito has a guilty conscience. To this day, she goes about whining in people's ears 
is everyone still angry at me? When she does that, she gets an honest answer. Why do? Kapow! So I guess that answers the question of why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears. She just wants to know if everyone's still mad at her. Thank you for reading this West African folktale with me. Why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears. Until next time.